Come tonight, memories of a war zone. Disabled veterans put their artwork on show in the House of Commons. And the actor diagnosed with dementia helping comic relief in the build-up to Red Nose Day. By 2021, it's estimated that there'll be a million people in the UK with dementia. As the population ages, the number is growing. Already, it's more than 800,000. Well, the BBC's Comic Relief already puts money into 50 dementia groups across the country. And this year, it wants to get more people talking about it. Today, as we saw, the actor Tony Haygarth, who's been diagnosed with dementia himself, went to a day centre in Essex as part of the Red Nose Day campaign. This report from Kevin Birch. If the name doesn't instantly strike a chord, the face most certainly will. Tony Haygarth has played countless roles on stage and screen, everything from the TV soap Emma Dale to the animated hit film Chicken Run. But today his focus is raising awareness about dementia. He was diagnosed last April. Well, it was just little forgetfulness things and it was coming on slowly and I was, I was aware of it, really. It's just a very slow process. I wrote a book called, um, I can't remember what it's called now. <laughs> yes, that's the only problem. <laughs> it's called God War Clogs, thank you. Tony's 70 and travelled up to Benfleet from his home in Kent. He likes to share time with others who have dementia and their carers, people like former commando Paul Hales, who comes here with his wife Jean, who's got Alzheimer's. They're both 81. When we first started, there were a lot of uh, these groups about run by the council, but they've all been closed down. So there are so few and far between, so we, hope, we rely on the council to give us grants to come to these places. But without places like this, I don't know what we would do. The centre's run by the charity Carers Choices. It was opened last May with the help of funding of just under £10,000 from Comic Relief. This is about people actually engaging, having a nice environment, being stimulated, and also giving the carers a, a really decent break. And they'll get a six hour break, and that means they can go about and they can probably attend the doctors and the dentists and do some shopping and daily things that we all take for granted. As this takes more and more of a grip on your life, does, does that scare you or do you remain quite positive? I'm not, I'm just going with the flow. Que sera, sera. That's Persian, I think, for what will be, will be, <laughs> just in case you didn't know. <laughs> He's always loved writing poetry. Some of it has been published in a book. God, as everybody knows, made the world in just six days. It and is a passion days, which still burns strong, and thankfully his sense of humour is as rich as ever. I'm making my face funny for money. Mm -hmm. Kevin Birch, BBC Look East. Of course, Comic Relief is coming up soon on Friday, March the 13th. And if you want to take part in the discussion about dementia on Twitter, just search for at Red Nose Day between 7am and 5pm on Thursday. <laughs>